is going to be the second part of the video showing how I'm going to use capacitors to buffer the heavy electric load of an electric over hydraulic plow on a pickup truck. I'm going to show this modeled on a bench just like I did in the last video where I have one meter that's going to be showing the amps going into or out of a battery. The power supply which is set at a one amp output maximum just like the alternator that will be overtaxed and basically a set of resistors in order to simulate a load of over two amps. So the first thing I'm going to do is hook this up without the capacitor bank just like before. So we can see my voltage drops to below 13 volts, the power supply is putting out one amp and the battery is putting out 1.1 amps in order to power the resistive load that I've added. Now we're going to connect the capacitor bank and we'll give it a second to equalize. So we can see the system is at 14 volts again. The only thing that we've changed is the fact that we now have these capacitors wired in parallel to the battery. We can see the capacitors are almost fully charged. So we do the same thing. We attach our load and we can see that we're maxing it out, but we're at 13.7 and slowly dropping. The capacitors are now outputting 1.3 amps. The battery right now is still technically taking a small charge. It's almost equal. Anytime you're using capacitors to buffer a load, there's going to be a limit as they discharge before eventually you're going to be back in the same place as before. So if we go back over here you can see that we're getting closer to the 13 volt mark. And we're just hitting the point where it's actually starting to discharge the battery now. Essentially I'm doing the exact same thing in the pickup truck only it's a lot heavier load on the same bank of capacitors so they're going to discharge much more quickly but I'm also going to be running the load for a lot shorter period of time. Okay, so the first thing I did is I connected the bank of capacitors in parallel with the battery on the truck. I then went and ran the plow up and down five times in a row and measured the voltage and recorded it. After that I went back and did the same thing and measured the amperage going in and out of the capacitor bank. If we look at the data that I originally got without the capacitors, we can see that the first time that I ran the plow, I was coming down to around 12.5 volts lifting the plow. The second time I was coming down to 11.5, 11 11.5 area, and 11.5 area. With the capacitors connected, 
The first time I ran the plow, I went from my 14.4 that it was charging at down to around 13. The second time I went down to about 12.5. The third time around 12. And the fourth time around 11.6. And we can then see the voltage slowly come back and recover as it charges up the bank of capacitors. As opposed to it coming right back to the original charging voltage almost. Only a tenth or two under it. This is because the battery has not been discharged far enough in order to fully load the alternator as were the capacitors have. This higher battery voltage that I'm getting with the capacitor bank in itself will give me better performance with the plow. The higher the voltage the system remains at, the faster it will turn the electric motor and the higher the flow I will get to the hydraulic system on the plow, which means it's going to actually lift considerably faster so there will actually be less time of me running the system. The second information that we got was the amperage that's actually being taken in and out of the capacitor bank while I'm running it. Keep in mind the plow itself is pulling about 180 amps total. So the alternator is putting out approximately 30 amps when fully loaded with the plow and this is with all the accessories on. So when I put my capacitors in there I'm actually getting a little over 50 amps that are being taken out of the capacitor bank on the first time, 50 on the second time, 45 area on the third time, and down to close to 40 amps on the fourth time. What this is meaning is my battery is still carrying a good part of this load, but it's being reduced by approximately 50 amps because the capacitors are providing that now. If you want to be technical about this, I should have done all of these measurements actually on one run at the same time because that higher voltage will change how much power the plow is taking. So I probably have a higher amp draw on the plow itself with the capacitors. But for a baseline calculation to see if I'm going to get an improvement from this, um, this basically says that I'm going to be eliminating about a third of the load that my battery would see. Hopefully you found this interesting and shortly I'll be installing these capacitor banks on the truck and testing them out in some real world situations. Thanks for watching.